What is up YouTube? Before I get into the video, let me remind you if you like my content, hit that like and subscribe button. And also if you feel the need to support me, hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Uncommon Ramen, capital U, capital R. Uh, I do all this in my free time. So any amount of support can help me bring it this, more of this content to you more often. Um, okay, so apologies for missing my usual Tuesday. Um, it was a very busy week, um, but uh, here we go for Thursday <laughs> instead. Sorry, again. Um, we are going to be looking at Rip Spawn Hunter. Um, originally, when I built this deck, it was because I felt like it was the first time that Selesnya kind of explored something outside of their... Um, I guess theme outside of what they usually do, which is like plus one plus one counters and, and uh, tokens. Um, so Rip the Spawn Hunt, Rip Spawn Hunter is going to be a very interesting deck. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we got Rip Spawn Hunter. This is two, a green and a white for a four four. Uh, survival at the beginning of your second main phase. If Rip Spawn Hunter is tapped, reveal the top X cards of your library, where X is its power. Put any number of creatures and or vehicle cards with different powers from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so let's take a look at creatures. Starting with Avacyn's Pilgrim, Birds of Paradise, Bounding Felidar, Cautious Survivor, Defiant Survivor, Drumbellower, Elodomri, Corvic Doll, Amara, Soul of the Accord, Enduring Vitality, Glimmer Seeker, House Cartographer, Intrepid Stable Master, Knight Errant of Eos, Kona Rescue Beastie, Lanawar Elves, Miriam Herd Whisperer, Arnry Tumblewag, Reluctant Role Model. Sereth, the Viper's Fang, Savior of the Small, Seedborn Muse, Seraphic, Seraphic Steed, Shrewd Storyteller, The Wandering Rescuer, Tyvar the Pummeler, Veteran Survivor, and Wily Duke. Acting hero. Next up is instance. Starting with Beast Within. Clever Concealment. Dawn's Truce. Generous Gift. Path to Exile. Seized from Slumber. Swords to Plowshares. Next up is Sorceries, Cultivate, Harvest Season, Monstrous Emergence, Nature's Lore, One Last Job, and Split Up. Next is Artifacts, Arcane Signet, Colossal Plow. Cultivator's Caravan, Dodgy Jalopy, Eska's Chariot, Hedge Shredder, Luxurious Locomotive, Parhelion 2, Peace Walker Colossus, Reaver Titan, Reckoner Bankbuster, Recon Craft Theta, Sky, Sky Sovereign Console Flagship Smuggler's Copter 
soul ring, spring leaf drum, surge hacker mech, the pride wind steel flagship, thunderhawk gunship, unidentified hover ship, wand of the world soul, and weatherlight. Next is enchantments. We got ourselves Dazzling Theater and Prop Room. The Glare of Subduel. And Quest for Renewal. Alright, next up is non basic lands. A Bountiful Promenade. Brushland. Canopy Vista, Command Tower, Fortified Village, Holdout Settlement, Hushwood Verge, Lush Portico, Mech Hanger, Overgrown Farmland, Reliquary Tower, Selesnia Sanctuary, Sun Petal Grove, Survivor's Encampment, Temple Garden, and Windswept Heath. Okay, next up is going to be Basic Lands. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine forests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plains. So this is going to be Rip uh, Spawn Hunter. It is a vehicle mount deck, um, but really what it is, is um, trying to find ways to tap your creatures. Um, a lot of the creatures in here have survival, uh, which means that during the second main phase they have some effect. Uh, and then we have payoffs in here that help us to do that. So for instance, Glare of Subduel, um, Eladomri Korvikdal, um, Tyvar, uh, you name it. There's there's quite a few things in here. Even the uh, mana dorks, just being able to tap them for mana. Um, Enduring Vitality allows you to tap anything for mana, any creature for mana. So we have a lot of ways to tap outside of crewing and saddling um, to allow us to um, tap down as many things as with survival as possible so that we can get the payoffs from the uh, survival trigger. Uh, and then we have a lot of things like um, Drum Bellower, uh, Seedborn Muse, um, the Dazzling Theater Prop Room, um, I believe has an uh, untap effect in there, um, Quest for Renewal, a uh, ton of ways to find ways to untap them uh, during other people's turns so that we can use them as blockers because I guess realistically one of the biggest caveats to, to running something with vehicles in it is that you just don't have blockers often. And having a chance to uh, play test this, um, I found myself in that situation. If you don't have ways to untap your creatures, um, you're going to find yourself in positions where uh, you have a lower number of blockers than maybe is desirable. Uh, one downside that I did find was that one of the thing, re biggest reasons why I built this deck was because it felt like for the first time in a long time that Selesnya was kind of stepping away from its uh, mechanics that, that are specific to it. Um, but this kind of still falls into it. It is a vehicles deck, but you still pretty much are making tokens and creating plus one, plus one counters. Um, in this, though, I felt like it was very useful. I've, I've seen a couple builds of Rip, and when, when those builds kind of stray away from token generation, they find themselves, the, the people piloting those decks, find themselves um, in a position where they don't have blockers. And so I think that this build has like a balance between you know, being able to tap your creatures to crew and saddle, but still having tokens generated to give you uh, a decent amount of blockers. So I, th I, I enjoy the deck. It, it still kind of has that Selesnya feel, but it has enough of a 
different feeling that I'm not uh, upset. So, very cool deck. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, keep it positive. I'll remove negative comments. And that's it, guys. Until next time. Peace.